hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers i'm so grateful for you all today we're going to work on a v-stitch shrug we use this denim here it is a cotton denim um well it's not really a denim but i guess because of the color it's a denim color i'm going to use my six point at uh, my six millimeter furls hook and naturally a pair of scissors well they're good for your hands i have some stitch markers and my scissors so let's begin i'm going to start off with an uneven number of stitches here i'm sorry we're going to start with 68 chains we want to end with an uneven number your last chain will be your turning chain so i'm going to chain 68 if you are a beginner and you want to learn how to crochet just go to my absolute beginners tutorial and where i show you how to make the basic stitches so i'm going to make my 68 chains and i will be back okay so i have my 68 chains here and now go let's go into our foundation row we're going to skip this first stitch and go into the next stitch with a half double crochet and you're just going to make one half double crochet all the way across okay so now i have 67 half double crochets across this is now row two go ahead and chain three and turn your work now we're going to go into our v stitch pattern go ahead and skip the first two stitches and go into the next stitch with a v stitch and a v stitch is a double crochet chain one and then another double crochet into the same stitch make sure you chain one after you've made your v stitch go ahead and skip two and then make another v-stitch which again is your double crochet chain one and another double crochet into the same stitch so just repeat your pattern going all the way across skip two and make a v-stitch once you get to your last v-stitch make your last v-stitch and chain one then you're going to skip another two stitches you should have three left and make your one double crochet at the end of the row now that chain counts as a double crochet that chain that you made counts as a double crochet so when you get to the end you should have one double crochet at the end as well if you do not you either didn't skip enough stitches or you skip too many and then go ahead and chain three and turn your work you want to chain three normally i only chain two with a double crochet but because of the pattern we need to chain three and because that is our double crochet so you're going to continue making your rows across making more v stitches across i'm sorry a truck just decided it wanted to zoom on by go ahead and make your three chains and then go into that v stitch from the previous row with another v stitch now again this is your pattern throughout you want to make it as long as you want to I'm going to continue on and meet you at the end one more time so I can show you what to do from there and then we will continue on. So I made my last V stitch here. Go ahead and chain one <clears throat> and then go into the bottom of that set double crochet. Well, with the chain from the previous row with a double crochet. Remember that chain counts as a double crochet so now just continue making your pattern all the way across to measure you want to measure from shoulder to shoulder not including the arms and that's going to be the base and then we'll go into making the arms so i am back and i now have 25 rows of my v stitches i decided not to do 31 that was going to be a bit too long for me so um but the bigger your hook the bigger your stitches will be so you want to determine what size hook you want to be it's just like i did in the other one when i only used a five millimeter hook so now we're going to go ahead and fold this in half this is our end point we don't want to go ahead and you don't want to tie off just yet or cut your yarn off just yet so let's go ahead and fold it in half i want to make sure that that first row of half double crochets is sticking out this is actually the top 
Okay, this is the bottom. So you want to make sure that the front is facing outward when you begin making your rows here, when you begin making your sleeves. The end is nice and even, so we can continue. So go ahead and insert your hook back in where your loop was, where you ended off. And we're going to go into that first half double crochet on the other side, which is the first row that we made when we made our foundation row of those half double crochets. So go ahead and put your hook into that stitch there. Make sure everything is nice and even and straight. Now this hole here, right where I'm putting my hook, is where you put your hook at. That hole next to it is not a stitch, so you're going to ignore that. Go ahead and insert your hook. This right here is not a stitch. You want to make sure that your yarn is to the back of your hook when you're inserting it in so that you can yarn over and make your slip stitch and then chain one. So now we're just simply going to make some single crochets going around. This is like the border of our sleeve. If you don't want to do this, you can actually instantly go ahead and begin making your V stitches into each of these boxes here. So because I want the sleeve to be wide, I'm going to make two single crochets into the first stitch, well into the first row, and then one single crochet into the next. And that's how I'm going to do my edging for my sleeves here. You don't have to do this. You can put one single crochet into each stitch. But because I want these sleeves to be nice and wide, I'm going to make one, two single crochets into the first row, one single crochet into the next, two single crochets into the next, and so on. We're going down the side, so you're going to go in between those V-stitch rows. Every time you've made a turn, you have a turning chain. So you're going to go into those rows there with your single crochets. Again, I'm making two single crochets into every other row. Get closer to the end when you get to that first single crochet. Go ahead and go into your first stitch with a slip stitch. And chain one. So now we're going to make another row of single crochets. Let me just fix my yarn here. Split on me. Make sure you chain one. And just continue on. So you're going to make three rows in total of your single crochets going around. Again, if you don't want to do this, you do not have to. A lot of my patterns are very versatile. So you can choose what you want to do and what you don't. So I'm going to make these single crochets going around. When I come back, I will have a total of three single crochets going around your final single crochet just go right into that next stitch and we're just going to start our V stitch so go into that very first stitch of the row with a V stitch which is a double crochet chain one and then another double crochet into the same stitch that is your V stitch make sure that every time you do that you chain one now you're going to only skip one stitch with your V stitch and chain one. Now you're going to skip two and then continue on from there. Make your V stitch. Making your V stitches all the way around just like we did for the bodice portion of the project. So now that I'm closer to the end of the row. Again, I'm not going to slip stitch. I'm going to make my final V stitch right here into this last stitch here. And then keep making my way around. So you're going to make these V stitches for as long as you want to. Making your sleeves as long as you want to. I'm only going to do a few rows. Okay, so now we're on the other side. Go into that very last stitch, your V-stitch, and then connect the other side in that beginning V-stitch on the other side. Go ahead and add your yarn. And chain one. 
And now just go ahead and continue doing the same thing we did on the other side, making your V stitches going all the way across. You're going to go into each stitch on every side, not, not V stitches, I'm sorry. You're making your single crochets. So remember, you make your two single crochets in the first one, one single crochet in the next one, two in the next one, and so on. And remember, you don't have to do this. You can make one single crochet, or you don't have to put any single crochets and just continue on with your V-stitches going around. So I'm going to make my single crochets going around, and I will meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row. And don't slip stitch. Just go ahead and chain one and go right into that next, that first V-stitch with another V-stitch. So you just keep making your way around with your V-stitches all the way around. Make sure that you put your stitch marker back into that first V-stitch so you know where your beginning V-stitch is. I'll be back. Okay, so here she is on my mannequin. As you can see, I didn't come down very far with my sleeves. I only did a couple of rows. But again, you go ahead and make as many rows as you want. This is what she looks on the back. Very nice. I love these V-stitches. Nice, big. It's very drapey and it's not tight at all. Unlike the other one I did with the 5 millimeter hook. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.